Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived safely in the kingdom after leaving, leading Bahrain's delegation to the 28th Arab Summit held in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, which concluded yesterday. Prior to that, His Majesty conducted a visit to the Arab Republic of Egypt, during which he held talks with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi about enhancing the deep rooted relations as well as the latest regional and international developments. Upon his arrival, His Majesty was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. On the sidelines of the official visit of a Representatives Council delegation to Indonesia, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, affirmed that the strong relations between Bahrain and Asian nations, particularly with Indonesia. He said these deep relations come within the framework of partnership between the GCC and ASEAN countries to enhance cooperation in various fields, including combating terrorism and extremism in all its forms. He noted that the visit of the delegation to Indonesia reflects the bonds between the Bahraini and Indonesian parliaments, stressing the importance of parliamentary coordination and cooperation in international forums. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated today in the inauguration of Prince Saud Al Faisal Conference Centre at the GCC Secretariat in the Saudi capital Riyadh. The ceremony was attended by the Chairman of the Board for the King Faisal Centre for Research and Islamic Studies, His Royal Highness Prince Turkey Al Faisal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed his appreciation of this authentic and important initiative in memory of the late His Royal Highness Prince Saud Al Faisal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. He noted that calling the new conference centre by the name of the late His Royal Highness Prince Saud comes in appreciation of his status that is engraved in, in the hearts of all because of his virtue and ethics, in addition to his immortal work and honourable stances. Sheikh Khalid also praised the role of the late prince in drawing the foreign policy of Saudi Arabia, enhancing Riyadh's leading role in GCC, Arab and Islamic causes, and in the international arena. He also loaded the, ro the role of the late prince in establishing the foundations of the GCC Council that was based on achieving the aspirations of the people with the principles of international security and peace. Sheikh Khalid also asserted that the late Prince Saud was a dear brother and precious friend, as he was a pioneer in diplomacy and politics, defending the GCC Arab and Islamic causes and interests in all the regional and international arenas. During the ceremony, speeches on the late Prince were given by Kuwait's First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Ahmed Al Sabah. Chairman of the Board of King Faisal Centre for Research and Islamic Studies, His Royal Highness Prince Turkey Al Faisal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani. The launching ceremony also included a, doc a documentary film showcasing the late Prince's stances and roles. <laughs> 